In today's video, I've got some classy outfit inspiration on ways that you can wear and style your black jeans. They are a wardrobe staple for lots of us, so I've got seven very simple style suggestions and loads of photo inspiration, which I hope is going to give you more ideas on ways that you can wear and style yours. So let's dive in. Black and white or black and cream always looks great together and at any time of the year. So pairing black jeans with something white or cream on top is a nice, easy, but classy outfit formula. Whatever your age range or style of white coat you have, you can make this work. The black jeans could be paired with either a black top or a white top. And you can also mix around the bags and either wear a black bag with it or even a white bag with it but I do think a black bag would possibly be a little bit easier. To the outfit, you could add some black gloves and it really doesn't need any more than that. It's very clean and simple. I've got three different styles of white and cream coats in my wardrobe, which I've paired with my black jeans. Now the jeans I'm wearing are from Marks and Spencers. I'm gonna be wearing these throughout the whole of the video. And the boots I'm wearing are from Ali Shoes and I'll be wearing these throughout the video as well. So the first jacket I've put it together with is this little crop jacket. I think you call them lady jackets in the US. This one I'm wearing is from Phase 8 and I've layered this over a turtleneck sweater which is cream. The jacket is actually cream as well but in the video it does look like it's white but it is actually cream. Now this image here I had pinned to one of my Pinterest boards. I really like how the aviator jacket has been paired with a cream or a white polo neck and with black jeans and a black bag. So I recreate this outfit quite often with the pieces that I have. The jacket is from New Look and the other pieces are all the same as before. So that's another way I'd wear my black jeans with cream and white. That one's a casual jacket, but I also have a cream jacket from Zara, which is more formal and it is a good few years old now. But it always looks lovely paired with black jeans and a cream turtleneck. Just a very nice, simple, put together outfit. White or cream coats are quite difficult to keep clean but they do look very nice with black jeans. A video about classic ways to wear black jeans wouldn't really be complete unless I included some camel. Camel is a color that can make everything look expensive. And when you pair it with black, you have a very sophisticated color combination. It is a true classic. It doesn't matter what age you are, a camel coat worn with black can look terrific. The only trouble with the combination if you are older is that Black can drain the colour from your face, but it does depend on your individual colouring. With this combination though, if you're struggling to decide what to wear one day, this one is an easy outfit to put together and it always looks nice. You can keep it very simple with black jeans, black boots, a black jumper and black bag, or switch it up and add a coloured bag. A red bag always looks great with the outfit, but so can a green bag. If you can wear it, it can look wonderful. But if you want to elevate that colour combination, a really nice way to do it is to add some white, but also some grey as well. Wearing a white shirt or a jumper instead of a black jumper may make the combination more wearable. This look is just as classic and classy as wearing all black underneath. And it could be any kind of white top, like a white jumper or t-shirt. But a white shirt always looks so beautiful and then you could add a beautiful necklace either that sits in the V of the shirt or one that sits a little bit more up on the collarbones. This one I'm wearing is perhaps the most beautiful necklace I own and I really wanted to show this to you. Now I'm not sure if you're familiar with this brand, they're called Gingerberry and they specialise in exquisite fine jewellery and in particular pearls and they are ethically sourced. Now this necklace is just so pretty, it's very delicate, very understated and it really is such an elegant piece. This necklace could actually be worn two ways. In fact, it probably could be worn more than two ways. I'm wearing it with a tail at the front. I really love how it just sits in the shirt and just drapes down. It could be worn a little bit higher up on the collarbones like this, or I think it could be worn more like a choker with the tail dropping down at the back. It's called the Starry Night Necklace. The pearls are clean with a high luster, and they've got this little pink overtone and the chain is 18 karat solid gold. I think it's just beautiful. I absolutely adore this necklace. I'd love to show you some of the other pieces from Gingerberry. Once you see them, I think you're gonna fall in love with the brand. Now, this necklace is called Ash Blue and this has this beautiful pearl droplet and a row of five pearls on a solid gold 18 karat gold chain. The pearl droplet on this one has a blue overtone. 
it's very delicate and it really looks so beautiful just sitting in the V of the shirt. Now this one's called Morning Wine and this is a single Aurora Pearl. I like this one because it's a little bit unusual. It's quite a bold design but it's still very refined and it does have a very subtle elegance to it. It's lovely isn't it? Sadly I can't wear pierced earrings anymore because the holes in my ears have closed up. So for the time being I'm wearing clip-ons. Now these are the Aurora Pearl clip-ons and they look very beautiful with one of the necklaces or just as lovely on their own. I've worn some clip-on earrings in the past and after a while they do start hurting your ears but these don't. In fact they're so comfortable I just forget I'm wearing them. But if you do have pierced ears they have a stunning range of very beautiful earring designs. Now I was very kindly also sent a jewellery box to show you where you can keep all your jewellery organised. I think this would be great to take on holiday where you can keep all your jewellery safe all in one place. It's got all these different compartments where you can store your earrings and your necklaces. Under there you've got a place for rings and if you pop this open there's a place there that you can store your, your bracelets so you can put them all in one spot and it's made in a very lovely soft plush velvet to keep your jewellery safe. Now you may have noticed on my finger this ring and just like everything else I've showed you from Gingerberry it's very understated and very elegant. Unfortunately I don't think my fingers are really doing it justice. The ring casing is made from sterling silver and then you've got these two Aurora pearls and you can actually get this in different sizes. I think it's very beautiful and when my hands are up to scratch and I've got lovely nails it's going to look even more beautiful. There's lots of very lovely pieces to choose from. So if you do still have some gift shopping to do, you'll find some lovely gifts, either for yourself or for any elegant ladies you know who would really appreciate this beautiful jewellery. I do have a code for 15% off, which is on top of the promotion that they're currently running on their website, which is $10 off if you spend $200, $20 off if you spend $400, or $30 off if you spend $600. So you can get an extra 15% off that with my code, which is Gemma15. And you can also get free gift wrapping and everything comes very beautifully presented. If you love very delicate, very beautiful jewellery, I know you're going to love their pieces. So I will leave a link to their website below and a link to all the pieces I've shown you in this video. And I'll leave the code on the screen right now for you. Black jeans look really terrific with a brown plaid blazer. Now most plaids or checks do have black running through them so they pair really easily with black jeans and they can be very versatile. One outfit idea is to wear it with a camel top underneath. The tones blend together very well. The sweater coordinates with the brown in the jacket and the black jeans coordinates with the black stripe running through the plaid. Add black boots to make the line from the foot to waist continuous and add a black bag and belt. These are a suede ankle boot from Ali Shoes which fit really well underneath the black jeans and the heel isn't overly high so they're very easy to walk in and they just give me a little bit more height and length. I'll link these below for you. It can also be worn with a white top underneath, either a jumper, a t-shirt or a silk shirt. The white looks nice with the black and plaid and it brightens up the outfit. Another way the check blazer could be worn is with a hoodie like this look. I've put it with a taupey coloured hoodie, but a grey one could be worn with it too. Surprisingly, deep burgundy looks nice with a plaid. So to the white and cream top, you could add a burgundy bag, which adds some depth and some richness and a little bit of colour. And the colour doesn't overwhelm the outfit. When black and grey mix, they can look very chic together. And black jeans can be paired so many ways with this colour mix. The simplest way to work grey into the outfit is by adding a grey scarf. It could then be layered one step further with a grey coat and grey knit and a fabulous bag. Instead of a grey knit, a white top or sweater looks striking with grey and black jeans and quite easy to pull together with pieces you might have in your wardrobe. A grey coat I think is a great addition to a wardrobe. It's a nice alternative to black and brightens up a standard pair of black jeans. As well as with a white top, it can also look very nice with all black underneath too. Now I know I've showed you this next outfit many times before, but it's one of my favorite ways to wear black jeans. It's a very simple outfit, but it can look very smart. I like to wear a black top underneath, which tends to elongate the body if you wear it with black boots and jeans. And usually for me, it's with a black top handle bag. 
Now this video is all about jeans but the same look could be recreated with leather or faux leather trousers and a black top. I also like swapping the top for a white or cream one, usually white turtleneck and sometimes I'll change the shoes for some trainers instead of standard black boots. But instead of a turtleneck, a classic white shirt or t-shirt could also be easy alternatives. I like this look because of the simplicity of it. The monochromatic pattern complements the jeans but without overwhelming it. So how do you feel about black and navy? It's a pairing that I was never really quite sure about but it's a colour combination that I've really grown to love. So if you're like me, try to keep an open mind on the colour combination if you're not sure. You never know, you may grow to like it. Now I simply put it together with a navy blue silk shirt, black jeans, boots, belt and bag. That could easily be layered with a navy coat over the top. This one I'm wearing is from Ted Baker. Instead of the silk shirt, a navy turtleneck could be layered underneath or a crew neck sweater or another colour that works is grey. So a grey top, black jeans and navy top it is an outfit option as well. If you're not keen on navy and black together, there's so many other colours that navy can be combined with. I've done a whole video on it, so if you'd like to watch that next, I've linked it just there for you.